Hey, what's up, guys? Figured we'd talk about a little greasing today. Mikey, throw it here. All right, so on the seamer, we actually have three points that we are going to be greasing. The first and most important point is going to be the main grease point right underneath here. When you buy your line from Cody, we supply you with grease and a gun that has grade two NLGI food grade grease, and that's what we're gonna be using right here. Uh, we suggest that people do that at the end of every run. Even beyond that, one of the most important things is we want the seamer to be on and running, and we also want the seamer to be warm whenever we are doing this. So we suggest doing this at the end of the run. What a lot of people will do is they'll go onto their HMI and they'll turn their seamer down to a speed of about 10 RPM. And while it's running, doing nice, slow, smooth pumps into the seamer. That way we get all the way through. And on the side of the pillow block here, you see what's called a weep hole, a tiny little port right there. That's where we'll start to see excess grease come out. The other two points we have on the seamer are going to be on our op blocks, these two Zert fittings here. These are not going to take the same food grade two grease that we're using. These are going to take a grade zero grease. The other option that you have is to drop the op block off of the machine, flip it over, and apply mineral oil after taking the cap off underneath. All of these yellow cap bearings are closed bearings. They do not need to be greased ever for any reason.